Hey everybody, um, I had somebody on Facebook ask me how I would create um, this soccer animation that's in this game called Headball. Uh, let me play a little bit for you. It's just an online game, um, or I think a mobile app that uh, you just have a little soccer match going on, or football game, sorry, Europeans. Um, and he just wanted to know how I could use physics for the ball. And so I recreated uh, one of the backgrounds from the game um, in Illustrator. And then I just, these are all just PNG files. There's a soccer background. And then I have my character's head with some shoes on. And then Bimo from Adventure Time um, for the other player. And I'm just going to show you how you can use physics inside of uh, Anime Studio or Moho. Um, to make that kind of effect. So I'll start off by creating a new vector layer and I'm gonna call it soccer ball. And I'll go ahead and create shape, use a circle, and I'll just drag that out. And I'm gonna hit Q and select the shape and then go over to the effect. And I already found a PNG file of a soccer ball so I'm just going to go to image texture, select the texture, and then select the ball. And then open that and then it'll just pop into the um, shape there and we'll hit OK and then I'm gonna grab this uh, the circle the clear circle and shrink it just a little bit just so it fits right inside of the um, the vector circle so and I really want to test it really quick I'm gonna grab the layer and move it and render it I just want to make sure the texture is moving with the, the ball so we have our ball now, we can resize it. It won't show up, um, the texture won't show up until you uh, try and select the image with Q or um, when you're rendering. I'm just gonna turn it white so we can see it right now. And then I need to create a physics group. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the layers and create a group. And we'll just call this physics. group and I'm gonna drag the soccer ball into it and just because I'm gonna do some layering I'm going to put the background in there too and I'll move uh, my characters up above the uh, folder with the physics so we have the uh, background and the soccer ball and we'll double click the group itself and turn on physics so click physics and enable physics and apply now since there's a PNG file, image, images by themselves won't be affected by physics. So if I go in the timeline, uh, the soccer ball will actually fall because it has physics applied to it. But you don't have to worry about the PNG file. But we do need to make a ground layer and something for the ball to react off of. So I'm going to create another layer and we'll just call this ground put it inside our physics group and I'm gonna put it underneath the soccer ball and I'm just gonna use we're gonna hide this after we're done but for now I'm just gonna make it a bright color so you guys can see um, what I'm doing so I'll hit uh, S which is select shape or draw shape and I'll use a rectangle I'm just gonna draw it right here because I want the ball to bounce off of this uh, vector layer and you can move this around when you're animating too um, but I'm also going to hit A and add some points and you'll see why I'm adding these points later on on the bottom here but hitting A and just um, dragging this along I want the ball to be able to go into the net so I'll draw a wall going back we can make it go back even further so it's about that big and then I'll Hitting A, I'm adding some more points, and I'm just going to make sure that it doesn't uh, it has to go into this kind of hole I've made. And hitting A, so it'll it can go inside here, but then it'll bounce off up here and off the ground. And then I'm also going to uh, hit A and just add this up here, just so it doesn't bounce off screen. Actually. Let's go ahead and move this over here to the edge of the screen and then 
right there. And we'll do the same for this side. So it'll kind of make a little uh, opening. Oops. Pull this back. Hit A, add points. And don't worry if it's sloppy, it's going to be hidden. And kind of make this little hole here. Put that on top of the net. And then we'll go ahead and just pull the wall up like that. And it looks crazy, but we're just needing this empty space, this negative space for the ball to bounce around on. Now we also need to make sure that the um, ground does not move. Since it's in the physics group, if I animate it now, it's going to fall with the ball because it's not uh, frozen in place. So we need to double click the uh, ground layer, go to physics, and click non-moving object and hit apply. Now if we go in the timeline and play it, you can see the ball will bounce on the ground. But we don't want it to just bounce, we want the uh, characters to interact with it. And since the characters aren't in the physics group themselves and we're anima animating them um, in different layers, we need to kind of fake uh, the interaction between the ball and the uh, characters. So, I'm gonna go ahead and move the soccer ball on frame zero. I'll just pull this over here. Oops. Drag it over to this character. And then I'm gonna move my character back here. And the soccer ball, we're gonna, we need it to not react to the gravity. So we'll double click the soccer ball, click on physics, and click start asleep. That just means that it's not gonna move until something hits it, or we tell it to move. So I'll hit apply. And you see when I, oops, animate, let me get rid of these keyframes, or go through the timeline, it won't move. Oops, let me put that on frame zero and move it here. So in the timeline, it's not moving, even though it's generating keyframes. So we'll animate our character first. So I'll grab this uh, image and I'll have him on frame one, right there. And then I'll just uh, go through the timeline, have him hop up, hop down, hop up, hop down, up and down. And then I'm going to click on the inner box or outer box for the rotation to make a rotation keyframe, pull him back, or rotate him, and then rotate him back so he strikes the ball, like that. So right when the foot hits the uh, soccer ball, we need it to move. So what you need to do is find the keyframe where he's touching the ball, which is uh, frame 20 right here. See, and um, go up to animation, select the soccer ball, because that's what we want to move. Animation, nudge physics, physics objects, and it's pointing to the right. So that's the direction it's going to go. And if you want to just go straight across, just hit OK. And we can test it to see how fast it goes. But I don't want it to just roll towards him. I want him to uh, seem to kick up into the air. So we'll go back to frame 20 and go under animation again and nudge physics object and we'll go ahead and change the direction. You can just click on the dial and turn it upwards and then we can change the power by the amount. So if I put in three he should kick it harder so we'll check check it again. That's pretty good. It pops up now and then rolls back but I want it to be even stronger so we'll go back again. Animation, nudge, and we'll do four. That looks pretty good. And we can change the weight of the ball if we um, go under the physics group, click on physics, and then change the gravity magnitude, make it a little less. So we'll just do five. And let's just see what that looks like. We'll keep testing it. It's way too high. So let's change it to something in between. We'll go to physics, change that to eight. Okay. So now we have our character kicking the ball over here. Now I want uh, the other character to look like he's gonna kick it or headbutt it. So 
I'll go right to about frame 27. I'll grab my other character. I'll start animating him. So I'll click on him in the middle just to create a uh, keyframe. Go a few frames over. I'll have him jump up, then down. And then maybe I'll have him jump, jump up. Also click on the uh, rotation, the outer box. And then on that frame, I'll turn him like that. So he's going to kick it right there on frame 35. So once we're on, on frame 35, we need to make the soccer ball go back the other way. So we'll click on the soccer ball, go to animation, nudge physics object, and then we'll change the direction over to the left and hit OK. And we'll see if four is good enough because it's going the other way now, it needs to be a little stronger, so we're gonna have to change it to something higher to counteract the motion of it going to the right. So, nudge phys physics object, I'm having a hard time saying that. We'll try seven. Okay, I want it to go up a little bit more. Whoa, too high. Nudge, and we'll turn that right there. That's good. And I'll have my character, Bimo, land after he turns. And then he's going to turn back and move down. And I'll have my other character. Once again, I'll go and finish animating him. After he turns, he's gonna turn back up. Then I'll have him kind of jump up and down. So I'll click on him, go a couple frames, move him up, copy and paste those two frames over again. So he's hopping, do it again, hopping, Hopping. And I think I'm going to have him headbutt it, so I'll have him go from here to jump. Here, I'm gonna make a keyframe for the rotation. Actually, go back, turn him like this, and then when he gets close to the ball, just moving some keyframes around so he can get closer. Right, right about there. I'm gonna have him rotate again. hits it right there so go to the soccer ball and animation nudge physics objects will point it downward this time and hit OK that's pretty good but I want it to kind of hit BMO so we'll go back to the keyframe that we just created and nudge physics objects let's point it up a little bit more still didn't work. Nudge. Let's try that. And it 
hits the ground, and we're going to have it hit Bimo. So I have Bimo jump around too. Select him. Have him jump up. Down. And just like before, I'm just copying and pasting those same keyframes so he jumps up and down. And then right there he gets hit. So select him. And then a couple frames over, I'll just move him over there like he got hit. I'll go ahead and make him flip too. So click on his rotation, the outer box, go to the last keyframe and spin him once. Just like the throwing axe tutorial. Bam. But then all we have to do since the ground and the, the background are on the in the physics group, we'll just drag the soccer group above. Or I mean the background above the ground, so it's hidden. Um, and then let's play the animation. Oops. Oh, Bimo did some crazy. What happened here? I accidentally, I don't know why his. He flew backwards like that. There we go. I just deleted a couple of those keyframes. So let's go ahead and render this out real quick. And um, see the, what this looks like. And because, like I said, the um, soccer ball texture just doesn't show up, but you can see while it's rendering that it's actually there. in the actual animation. Let's see what this looks like. And there it is. Um, it's pretty simple to do. You have to have Anime Studio or Moho Pro um, to do this because you have to have physics and you have to use groups. So just remember when you're doing any type of physics it needs to be in a group folder. And then you have to um, also be aware of um, the layer you want to not move because that's what the uh, physics are going to interact with. But um, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below. And uh, sorry I haven't been making um, as many videos as I normally do. I've been having a lot of problems with my uh, throat. So I love making videos. So um, yeah, there's still a lot more to come. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.